What's up guys? This is Artie and this is Life is Strange. I've never heard of this game. Like, seriously, never even heard of it. Only thing I do know about it is that a couple of my buddies have been playing it recently and they've been gushing. So they told me that whenever I had the chance I should go ahead and play it and see what it's like. So let's go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? So let's see. New game. Uh, let's get started. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game action decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. And yes, I know I said impact. I meant impact. So if you're wondering why I have the camera up, it's uh, it's, people were telling me I needed to have my face back on the can on the screen. They want to uh, see my ugly mug again and uh, check me out. So, let me. what the f oh. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. So what's You feel this? like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. What the heck? She saw humanity as tortured, what? right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Oh, Look okay. at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of I do love my analog camera. And any one of you could I should take a quick picture now. Isn't that too easy? Hmm. Too obvious? My little camera bag is battered, but what still kicking. chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the I essence can of post-war beat America. clearly see somebody here is the And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. Right, I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Well, we're Plus taking a selfie. perfect from my portfolio. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max 
has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? Really? Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna go and say what the first thing I said. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> Asshole! The process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely Asshole! popular in the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Is it just me, or does he come off a lot like Robert... Like Robert Downey Jr. when he was trying to pretend Victoria to be. Victoria uh, doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Tony Stark. Yeah, Victoria kissing ass because she's an ass. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Let me guess. Your work. I just really You're think okay. heroes is an important cultural uh, You and I need I to have some words, lady. You Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. Uh, Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Actually, no, you, you seem really down. Let's talk later, Max. Kate, tell me about the paper ball. We need to talk about the paper ball. Y you know I love you, Kate. Y you know I love you. All right, let's just keep moving. What the is this? Huh, this might make a cool shot. Let's take a cool shot. Okay. Tab for the journal. What? I can't do anything with it? What, what's this? Okay, I don't want to be a photographer. Say cheese. Next. I forgot if I ever seen past months you released on this made for an abstinence. I made for an abstinence campaign. Okay. She's extra quiet. She looks like she's in zombie mode. Barely keep myself from pulling the warrior down. It's, geez. Maybe fight her a tea or a movie. Yeah, I should. Anyways, time for the class A bitch. Ah, there we go. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Probably, yeah, that's a good reason. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Hmm. Well, looks like we're done here, so, uh... 
I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Fuck. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Well. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. He has a point. He has a point. Like, you know, you can have all these skills, you can have all the abilities, you're still going to be an amateur if you don't got the balls to throw yourself out there, you know? I mean, even, even, even if you suck at it, even if you just barely got any skill whatsoever, you know, no one's going to even know unless you put, you know, throw yourself out in that, that world, man. So sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter how much you know, it just matters if you got the balls and the guts to just get out there and say, Here I am! And expose yourself. But that's just art in its own, <laughs> in its own way. Alright, open up the door and let's You step didn't out. tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. Welcome to cute. the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Harry she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Greatest thing about music sometimes. All you gotta do, plug in, tune the world out, hopes to forget. So to it's all one of, of the greatest you, things I've ever heard. American girls, it's sad to imagine a this guy? world. Evan doesn't say much to me, but American his photos are very cool. And he screams hipster. Be part of the world Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Introverted. The really introverted. Watching the world from the bright side. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. To all of you, American girls in the movies, no one can tell. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Harvard's family. Harvard's family probably did everything they could, so she's busting her butt. I wish I That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Guy, guy. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. She's doing this so that way she can do her best that she hopes in a way that can help her fit in. So she dresses up in this way. And because it seems that most people I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Well, 
poor Daniel. That's He's so I'm nice. Fine. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Oh, Logan, the person who feels the only way he can establish himself as a person is through dominance and through violence. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. What's this? I wish October would last forever. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Tattoo on uh, Cap of Dragon and the star on the inside left wrist. All right, let's, let's just keep moving onward. Let's see. People obviously like each other. Let's see. Right, here we go, bathroom. To all of you American girls, it's sad to Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. What's this? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Maybe. You should wipe your face. <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Apparently not. Let's take a look. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? I don't know. It doesn't Let's... look like any kind I've ever seen before. Take the a photo. blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be here. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, 
I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her. Let's see what happens. I did now, it. Can you give I me actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why are you? Wowzer, my old broken camera. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? uh, if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm That's sorry. It. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Little after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Can I restart now you're time? totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, hey, hey, making them extremely girl, popular for time. People. Let's do this. Rewinding shit so I can shove it in your fucking face, Victoria! Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yeah, the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> Suck it! The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. You're damn straight. But we can't be an everyday hero right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stop real quick, and I'm going to get right back with you guys in just a second. So, till then, bye bye Why is this See happening? See you guys. And to me.